Hey guys, welcome back to the Rookie RVer. I'm JD and today I get to show you my brand new RV. Well, new to me. I'm super excited to show you guys. This is a 2001 Rexall Airbus. So I have no idea what key goes to what. This is so stinking new. Um, <laughs> All right, let's try this one. <laughs> this could take a while. Ah, here we go. Ah, and we're in. Okay. Turn this on. And we apparently don't have any power yet because steps didn't come down. Oh, there they go. <laughs> you have steps. <laughs> Come on inside, guys. Obviously, we've got the cockpit. It's where all the fun happens. No, I don't know how to drive it yet, but I'm willing to learn. Um, I took my first lesson uh, a couple of days ago in an empty mall parking lot. That was very interesting. Um, and I found watching a lot of videos and really understanding the turn and where the axis is and uh, giving myself permission to take up more space, I had this fear of turning into somebody else's lane. Um, but the reality is it's a 36 foot bus. You have to take up more space. So you have to go in other people's lanes sometimes and that's okay. And then when I'm not driving, this is my lovely seat where I will sit. We've got curtains here that we can open up and um, they will actually go all the way across. So you can protect your dash. The other one will come up and they'll close completely so that we don't have to worry about people looking in at us when we're sleeping. Uh, we've got all this storage up here. Um, now I haven't put anything in this yet. So anything that's in here now was in here when I bought it. Um, I did have it professionally cleaned. So somebody did come and clean up for us. These are all the manuals um, that go with the bus and all the appliances and things like that. We've got this here, we've got our speakers. Um, this right here is the backup camera. It's pretty cool. Um, you can actually hear people talking behind you. So be really careful if you're behind buses, don't start um, talking bad about people or saying anything you don't want the world to know because we can hear you. Um, this right here is um, for an old tube TV. Um, I uh, actually plan on removing this completely. There's a lot of updates I want to do in here, um, but it's just going to happen with time. I want to replace the floors. I want to paint all the cabinets. Um, I really just want to update it. It's a little bit dated, um, but that's okay. It works. Everything works, so we're fine right now. But anyway, so I'll probably end up removing this, um, but that is where an old TV would go. We've got some more storage. It's still got that original blue carpet in here. Can you see that? That original blue carpet that was in here. Kind of cool. Um, we've got some stuff here. This is what, um, I guess when you hook up the antenna and stuff, again, this was in here when I bought it. Um, as far as the seats back here, we've got a recliner here. This bed actually pulls out into a full size bed. And then back here is the uh, futon. So we've got small kids, so this is plenty of room for them to sleep. All of these blinds open up. These are actually house blinds that the person before me um, installed in here. So they're not those flimsy, cheap ones you find in most RVs. Um, but each one of these will open up, give us plenty of sunlight. Sometimes I go a little faster than the item wants to go. Anyway, and then same thing back here. We've got them on the slides here. I won't open them all up, but you kind of get the picture. Um, up here, we've got a lot more storage. Um, this is great to put um, a lot of your cooking stuff. So if you're, I'm planning on bringing a small griddle or grill um, and so I would put it up here. I would use baskets. I intend on putting baskets for everything except the larger items, just because when you're driving down the road, you're gonna have a lot of things move around. Um, and then we move into the kitchen. 
So right here is our sink and these go over top just to protect it while you're driving. We've actually got a filter for the water. Um, over here is our stove. It is a gas stove. Um, if you've never cooked on a gas stove, it takes a little bit of practice. I actually have had a gas stove in a house, so um, it takes a little bit of practice. We've got the oven, just a small oven right here. Microwave. Um, we've got storage up here, lots of storage space. Um, I don't know if you can see down here, but there's a whole lot. It goes all the way back in there. And as you can see, it still has the original carpet in there as well. Um, over here, I guess this is where you can keep your knives and things. Um, not sure how I feel about that. I don't know, like, could it go flying out or anything, you think? I don't know. Um, we've got a cutting board here. Um, plenty of drawer space for everything little pantry area here and again this is our drawer space right here is our refrigerator I'll open up that so um, in our next video you'll see I'm going to actually use some plastic bins to put in here again just to keep your food from moving around when you're traveling down the road it also makes it easier to pack everything up at home in the plastic bins and then just slide them in your refrigerator all right, we'll move back to the bedroom. We've got our closet space with some drawers here. Oh, look, there's stuff in them. As I said, everything in here is was in here when I bought it, and I don't know why that won't open. You guys are really getting the rookie RV experience here. Okay. In our closet, um, we'll do the bedroom and come back to the bathroom. But so here's the bedroom. Um, we're actually going to be replacing this mattress today. That was the very first thing I bought. Whenever you buy something used, um, I believe you just need to get it cleaned up as best as you can. And for me, that included getting a new mattress. Also, we don't know how old this is, how comfortable it would be, that kind of thing. Um, got some more storage, looks like. What is that? I don't really know. You know what that is, Scott? Can you tell? I do not. Huh. It's bolted in, so it's it obviously sure is. not coming out. Um, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so note to self, something else we get to fix. Again, this goes in with buying a used RV. Things got to be fixed. Oh, a little closet here. You can actually hang some stuff up in here. You see that? Mm. That's neat. Um, got some more storage here overhead. There's quite a bit of storage, actually. Um, these curtains, these black things right here can actually be removed if you'd like. Um, the lady that had it before me, um, she couldn't sleep if there was any light shining in, so she's hung those up. Oh, you may open this. Now this is actually the original blinds that came with the RV. So it's a little bit older. Wow. You guys are really getting to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so obviously we're gonna have to do something about this. It doesn't stay up on its own. This is kind of neat though, right here, where I can put a chair and, and get ready. You know, maybe I should put some Hollywood lights across it or something, but. Um, some more space, uh-oh. <laughs> this is really good that we're doing this today because I'm learning that I got some drawers that might need some fixing. I kind of like this blue carpet. I don't know that I would mind if that was still in here. So all those work. And then this beautiful old tube TV that I'm pretty sure still works actually. Um, yeah, that's just more storage space, storage space. So you can see there's plenty of storage space for all your stuff. Um, but you do still have to be careful because if you're like me, you can overpack. I tend to like to go glamping more than camping. Um, but you do want to not overpack because of your weight and things like that, things you need to be aware of. Um, underneath over there, there's maybe, yeah, some more storage space here. 
Oh, I'm glad I looked at that. I bought big baskets to go under there and that's not gonna work. <laughs> and then of course the- views. More storage space. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it for the inside. Um, of course, there's lots of storage underneath, which we will take you to see next time because that actually hasn't been cleaned. The inside has been professionally cleaned and obviously I have some things that need to be fixed. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. As always, please like and subscribe to my channel. And until our ne next adventure, I hope you guys have a great week.